Hi, welcome to the Simple Mesh tutorial video. In this video, we will go over all the functions of Simple Mesh and test them out. Let's import the Simple Mesh package and get started. After importing the package, you can find Simple Mesh in the Tools menu. Let's open it. Let's start with this tower example. This tower has three parts, and each part has its own mesh renderer with multiple materials. We will use Simple Mesh to create LOD groups for all of them. Let's open the Simple Mesh panel. Simply drag the first tower part object into the Simple Mesh target object section. By adjusting the LOD percentage in the preview section, we can preview the simplified mesh in the scene, as well as the current triangle count. Notice that we can't completely reduce the triangles to zero. This is because the mesh has already been simplified to the maximum, and further simplification would completely deform it. Simple Mesh will automatically set a maximum simplification threshold to ensure meshes aren't destroyed. We can keep adjusting the preview to get the best simplified percentage and use it for manual LOD creation later. I want to show you guys the auto-generate LODs function first. All we need to do is decide how many LOD levels we want to create and set the LOD threshold for each one. The auto-generate LOD function will then automatically adjust the simplified percentage for each level and create the LODs for us. If you check the automatic LOD transition option, the generated LODs will automatically set to fade mode. This is super convenient if you need to quickly set up multiple LODs. If you want to create new LODs, simply click Remove LODs. Simple Mesh will delete all LODs on the target object with just one click. And of course, we can easily create more LOD levels by changing the LOD count. This time, you can see the last two LOD levels are actually the same. This is because the last two levels are far enough from the camera and have reached maximum simplification. We can simply remove one level or adjust the settings and generate the LODs again. Auto-generate LODs can be super convenient for creating LODs, but the trade-off is that we don't have the fine control over each LOD level's simplification like we do with manual generation. Let's take a look at this skull example. Even though it's small, it has more than 15,000 triangles. Simple Mesh excels on models like this that contain a high number of triangles and intricate details. With the preview, we can see that the mesh can be simplified to 6% while still preserving its fine shape, reducing the number of triangles from over 15,000 to a minimum of 900. I have set up seven LOD levels for this model. Let's take a look at the generation results. This is a great example that demonstrates the convenience of the auto-generate LODs function. Now, imagine you have many skulls that need LODs. With Simple Mesh, you can create LODs for them very easily. Drag all of them into the target object section, click Generate LODs, and you're done. Let's go back to our tower example. For objects in the scene that don't need to display fine details all the time, the auto-generate LODs function is a great choice. Let's try manual LOD generation. With the help of the preview tool, we can get the ideal simplification percentage for the model and make sure the LODs are generated with the exact level of simplification we want.
So at 30% simplification, this tower still looks pretty good without any major deformation. Let's add more levels. I'll manually adjust the percentage for each level to get fine control over the tower's LOD details. I'll make sure the simplification doesn't go below 30% to avoid any major model distortion. Let's give it a try. We created six levels this time, and they all look great without any major detail distortion. Batch processing is another powerful feature of Simple Mesh. It can create LODs for multiple objects at the same time. Let's create LODs for all parts of the tower. Simply drag all the tower parts into the target objects section. And with just one click, LODs are generated for all of them. Let's test it out in the game. All the LODs are functioning perfectly. If you want to remove the LODs, just drag all the objects to the target objects section and simply click Remove LODs. For the next part, I want to show you guys Simple Mesh's save function. We can save the generated LODs as assets. This is crucial if you want to create prefabs of the object. If we directly convert the object into a prefab, all the generated LOD meshes are lost and can't render. We can fix this issue by saving all the LOD meshes before creating the prefab. I created a new folder named Tower and enabled the Save to Asset option, then clicked Create LODs. This time, all the LODs are generated and saved to the asset folder. Now we can safely convert the object into a prefab. All the LODs still work perfectly.